How do you invest in real estate without buying a property? Ken Van Loo here, author of the Modern Wealth Building Formula, how to master real estate investing to show you how. Investing in real estate can be very lucrative, but getting started in real estate investments requires a large amount of capital. With that being said, if you do not have hundreds of thousands of dollars on hand, there are other options to invest in real estate without buying a physical property. Invest in a REIT. A REIT, or Real Estate Investment Trust, is a company that owns real estate and related assets such as mortgages or mortgage bonds. The majority of REIT's income and assets must be linked to real estate. To qualify as a REIT, companies must meet these standards plus additional rules defined by the Securities and Exchange Commission. So if you're going to invest in a REIT, invest at least 75% of their total assets in real estate. Derive at least 75% of their gross income from property rent and mortgage interest. Have a minimum of 100 shareholders after its first year as a REIT and have no more than 50% of the shares held by five or fewer individuals. REITs also pay at least 90% of the taxable income as shareholders' dividends. That's a few of the rules that are required. Now, REITs are not simple companies that own real estate. They are businesses that provide cash flow to their investors. If you invest in a REIT with dividend reinvestment, you can grow your portfolio until you reach a point where you can actually purchase individual properties or continue to invest in a managed real estate portfolio. You can invest in real estate focused companies. Many companies that own and manage real estate are not structured as a REIT. The stocks of these companies typically pay a much lower dividend than a REIT, but these businesses have more freedom to reinvest profits and expand. And with any individual stock investment, Always do plenty of research before making investment decisions. Investing heavily in one stock or industry relative to the rest of your portfolio opens you up for portfolio concentration risk. Another option is to invest in a home construction company. Did you actually know that you can make money from real estate without ever owning a home? Not only is it possible, but many people are doing it right now. Real estate is just about buying and profiting from existing companies. There is an entire industry of home builders responsible for developing new neighborhoods in growing metropolitan areas. These companies may have been involved in multiple aspects of home construction process, and it's a very non-risky investment. When evaluating these home builders, you want to look at different aspects. Ask yourself, you know, what is the company focused on? Are they focused on residential? What is the size of that company? Some, some of the larger companies like Lennar Homes, DR Horton, you've heard of these names. You can actually invest in these companies and make money. And also keep in mind that a home builder's performance can be highly correlated to the economy. When job growth is strong, people want to buy new homes. When the economy is sluggish, new home sales tend to fall off. Another option is you can invest in a real estate mutual fund. One of the most difficult hurdles in real estate investing is diversification. As a retail investor in the stock market, it's not difficult to find a wide range of investment. Shares of many companies trade at low enough prices that achieving diversified portfolio can be reached at a reasonable price. In real estate, a single asset typically costs well into the six-figure range. Only one company, Berkshire Hathaway, trades at that level. Few stocks reach high into the four-figure level. To get diversification, you really have to focus on mutual funds and EFTs and other types of stocks in order to get that diversification. REITs isn't the only option. The bottom line, investing in individual properties requires a lot of capital and comes with high risk. Investing in other options available through the stock market, such as REITs, mutual funds, ETFs, can give your portfolio real estate exposure without having to lay out hundreds of thousands of dollars. As with any investment, investing in real estate and related companies comes with risk. Once again, evaluate any investment option before buying. Ensure that it lines up with your investment goals. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Check out KenVanLoo.com and make it a great day.